I vetoed, and I'm returning to the speaker, Chapter 167, House File 2738. It would amend the Minnesota Constitution to require picture identification for citizens to exercise their constitutional right to vote. Although I do not have the power to prevent this unwise and unnecessary constitutional amendment from appearing on the Minnesota ballot this November, the legislature has sent it to me in the form of a bill. Thus, I am exercising my legal responsibility to either sign or veto it. I are vetoing it, and I would urge Minnesotans to reject it in November. This amendment is a proverbial wolf in sheep's clothing. It goes far beyond its purported intention to require photo identification. Instead, it dismantles Minnesota's best in the nation election system. According to the Secretary of State, Mark Ritchie, this amendment would end same day voter registration, long a goal of many Republican partisans, and require an entirely new system of provisional balloting. It would severely restrict absentee voting, mail-in voting, and voting for members of our armed forces and others overseas. Local election officials, township officials, and representatives from the cities and counties have all voiced their concerns and their opposition to many of those changes and the burdens they would impose on lawfully voting Minnesota citizens. There were a couple of opportunities the legislature had this session to adopt a, a bipartisan approach to making these kinds of changes. Secretary of State Ritchie, a bipartisan group of legislators, and I recommended another system uh, where you would still have voter identification by picture on election day, but in a way that would not disenfranchise uh, so many citizens and would eliminate this uh, provisional balloting me measure, which is going to add to confound the, the confusion. At, on and after election day. So they, they, if they truly wanted to have a system, change uh, and protect Minnesota's voting integrity, they had the opportunity to do so. Instead, they'd rather force this uh, on the constitutional um, amendment on the ballot. And uh, fortunately, I can rely on the good wisdom of the Minnesota voters to see, see through the folly of it and, and reject it. You know, on first blush, it sounds like something we all want. We all want Minnesota's elections to be absolutely honest and clean. We want every eligible voter to be able to vote and every vote to be one that's cast legally. And the last two elections, the recounts statewide have proven that ours is as close to perfect as any election can be. And even beyond that, you know, we've offered a much more advanced uh, modern way to uh, use photo identification, take pictures of people who don't have a photo ID right on the spot on election day, allow them to vote, and also have them on record for future elections. So we've, we've addressed uh, in, a, in a proposed bipartisan way the concerns that supposedly motivate this legislation and this amendment, but uh, they've been rebuffed by the Republicans.